the beginning of Sebo, Maria, Malawi was Chiromoni. Well, that's where we are. But Sebo has got to be an international movement, a movement capturing so many countries because there are so many hungry children, so many people in need throughout the world who have made the first step. Most of our children, the biggest part of the population, more than near 50% of the population, are children under the age of 15. So there's a huge number of children in schools. That's a lot of energy, but they're hungry. They are hungry for education, they're hungry for food. And Sebo is actually meeting these two areas of their need. I've never been to Japan myself, but my real connection is, goes five years back, actually almost five years this week, when there was a tsunami in Japan, I was in Malawi at that time in Blanta, the chairman, the president of the Rotary Club of Blanta. The Rotary Club at that time with the tsunami, I initiated to raise funds to help the uh, tsunami victims in Japan. But one might ask, why do you want to raise funds for Japan, a poor Malawi? But for, for me and for us in Malawi, it was a token. It was a token of togetherness, that we knew that people needed some help. It didn't matter where it came from. So the rate we had, we gave to uh, to the Japanese government. And for information, I had a thank you letter from the Japanese government, personally to thank me for the raising of those funds. And that started my first connection to Japan. And the, uh, when we we are now sitting in, another, in a crisis in Malawi, I thought it would be the, an opportune time to call upon the people I helped five years ago. So this is just about the opportune time to help to call on people of Japan and say, help Malawi, because Malawi is now in trouble.